This is an overview of the different types of thyroid carcinomas, including medullary, papillary, and follicular, by Kate Evans, a PA student at ATSU. I'm going to be discussing three of the four different types of thyroid carcinomas, um, including papillary, follicular, and medullary. The thyroid uh, is a gland located in the neck, just inferior to the thyroid cartilage. It's made up of two lateral lobes with a center isthmus. It is responsible for setting the metabolic rate of the body or determining how quickly energy is used. I'm going to be talking about the pathology associated with anaplastic change in the thyroid tissue. According to research, there are no known or identifiable risk factors. We do know that they are more common in, in females and that the majority of them uh, originate from, from the follicular cells, except for the medullary carcinomas. Those originate from the parafollicular C cells, uh, which we know is the maker of calcitonin. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is papillary carcinomas. They account for 80% of all the thyroid cancers. They are a low-grade malignant lesion that is hormonally inactive. Um, can occur early in life, with the most common being um, from the 30s to the 50s. The, these tumors tend to metastasize to local lymph nodes, but later on in the, in the later stages of the disease, it's not uncommon to find distant metastases. They have a very favorable prognosis with 80% of the patients still surviving after 10 years of receiving their diagnosis. What I'm going to talk about is the follicular carcinoma. This is a less common than the papillary. It only accounts for about 15% of the thyroid carcinomas. Most patients who receive this diagnosis are older than the age of 40. This is a little bit more of an aggressive carcinoma, but is still a slow growing compared to other cancers. Um, it appears as a nodule with the tumor cells resembling normal follicles um, that form colloid. This tends to metastasize to the bloodstream, but still has a good prognosis with about 65% of the patients surviving past 10 years. Last one I'm going to talk about is medullary carcinomas. These are the least common of the malignancies found in the thyroid gland. The difference in these is that these carcinomas derive from the parafollicular C cells of the thyroid. The C cells are responsible per, for producing calcitonin, the hormone which is um, involved in regulating the homeostasis of calcium in the body. When a patient presents with um, thyroid cancer, the, they can cover a broad spectrum of clinical presentation from being asymptomatic to maybe having a large mass on their neck or a hard nodule. Um, this can cause things like hoarseness or difficult speaking. It can cause voice changes. They may be experiencing dysphagia or a choking feeling. They um, can also maybe come in with a complaint of a chronic cough that's not just due to a, an illness or seasonal allergies. Now with this finding, oftentimes it will be diagnosed through um, a fine needle biopsy, which is given to a pathologist to um, confirm diagnoses and, and also to give the, the clinical diagnosis of which type of cancer that it is. Treatment is based upon the pathologist's finding. Oftentimes, the surgeon, um, when they're removing 
the nodule or taking uh, the biopsy will often also just remove the thyroid gland. Um, in that case, they usually will undergo radioactive iodine um, later on to completely get rid of the, the thyroid, and then they will, of course, be on um, hypothyroid medications for, for the remainder of their life.